Greetings from the Department of Labor. I am Jerry Fiala, Acting Assistant Secretary for the Employment and Training Administration. I am grateful for this opportunity to address the many members of the public workforce system and our numerous partners across local, state, and federal government who are all striving to repay the debt we owe our nation's veterans for their service. It has been over a year since the Vow to Hire Heroes Act established the Veterans Retraining Assistance Program, or VRAP. In that time, more than 100,000 applications have been approved and 50,000 veterans have started job training for high demand occupations. Many veterans have already completed their training programs and are ready to seek employment. Because the Vow Act recognizes that the training of our veterans alone does not guarantee their success. The Act requires that our representatives in the public workforce system reach out to those who have exited VRAP to ensure their career needs are being met. We at the Departments of Labor and Veterans Affairs realize such outreach efforts are critical and we would like to restate our commitment to working with you on making them a success. We welcome any suggestions you may have that could further strengthen our collective efforts in serving veterans. Furthermore, I would like to thank you for your contributions to the success of DOL's veterans initiatives, including priority of service within the American Job Center Network and the Gold Card Initiative. Like VRAP, these initiatives play a key role in helping our veterans enter or re-enter the civilian workforce. Thank you. My name is John Moran, Deputy Assistant Secretary for the Veterans Employment and Training Service. It is a great honor to speak to you about the Veterans Retraining Assistance Program, or VRAP. I am proud of the work we are doing together to support our veterans through this much needed program. Veterans offer a unique set of skills, experiences, and leadership abilities developed and honed during their years in the military. The Department of Labor strongly advocates for veteran initiatives such as VRAP, which help bring their unique skills to the civilian workforce. DOL is also fully committed to providing our veterans with the employment support, assistance, and opportunities they deserve to succeed in the civilian workforce through their right to priority service at all American job centers. As you know, the department provides employment and training services to eligible veterans, primarily through the approximately 2,700 job centers that serve as the cornerstone of the nation's workforce investment system. These job centers served around 1.5 million veterans during program year 2011. We applaud all of you for making that happen. The VOW Act, through which VRAP is authorized, requires that the Departments of Labor and Veterans Affairs jointly submit a final report on the outcomes of VRAP. Therefore, it is necessary to track the employment outcomes of VRAP participants who receive employment assistance from job center staff. Last year, DOL issued formal announcements informing the workforce system about VRAP and presented a joint webinar with the VA offering a walkthrough of the VRAP application. Additionally, DOL provided formal policy guidance for the workforce system on reaching out to VRAP participants after they exit the program. VETS looks forward to the VRAP follow-up being a team approach involving all job center staff to serve these deserving veterans. We owe these brave men and women the best services our nation can provide. The department, this administration, are firmly committed to fulfilling that sacred obligation. We strive daily to do so through programs and services designed to prepare, provide and protect our veterans. Thank you for your service to those who have served us. Hi everyone, I'm Kurt Coy. It's an honor to have the opportunity to share some words with you about the Veterans Retraining Assistance Program, or VRAP. First, I wanna congratulate you all for the hard work you put in to VRAP thus far and your continued efforts during the remainder of the program. You all play an important role in helping unemployed veterans find the career or job opportunities they likely, not too long ago, thought were unattainable. The impact of your work goes even further than the individual veterans you're working with. It will also change the lives of each of their families and help strengthen the communities in which they live. We just passed the one year mark since the VRAP program began and the good news stories are already coming in. I can tell you firsthand that this program is making a real impact in veterans' lives. It's truly rewarding to be in a position to help such a deserving group of men and women who have served this country honorably and need our help 
getting their careers back on track. The best testament to VREP success is veterans sharing their personal stories. VA has several social media outlets to promote these successes and we want to share these veteran stories as much as possible. I encourage you to send us your success stories so we can continue to demonstrate to other veterans and to our stakeholders the good work being accomplished and the impact it's having on veterans' lives. I want to thank you again for your time and all your efforts. To have stood up this program in such a short period of time is a great testament to everyone's hard work and dedication. And we have the opportunity to continue to make this life-changing program for our nation's veterans. Thank you again.